everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft and I'm doing Mix It Up Monday this month with Peace Craft Love and um, Kimberly from I'd Rather Be Scrapbooking and a bunch of other creative scrapbookers who are um, in the Peace Craft Love Clubhouse, which is a Facebook group that you can join at the link below. And you'll also see a playlist and uh, a listing of everybody who's playing along this month, both on YouTube and Instagram. So we always start with the sketch and you can see the sketch that's up in the corner there. It's a single photo sketch. I'm gonna do a single photo to go along with that. Um, but obviously we have to do some mixed media. So we're gonna take that sketch and mix it up, right? And I am going to be mixing it up with some stamps and some Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Spray. So what I'm doing first is I, um, I decided I, I needed to figure out like the placement of the non mixed media elements. So I've got a four by six photo of my daughter and two friends at a fall hike that we did uh, with the Girl Scouts. And I'm gonna mat that on that orangey paper. And then I've got some sort of like outdoor camping pattern paper that has been in my stash for a super long time. And I'm gonna use that as the pattern paper strip that goes behind the photo and the matting. And then I've got um, a three by four card that I'm gonna use as the uh, left side element where you see on the sketch where it says title and there's like a circle thing and a tag. So I'm gonna use that three by four cut apart over there. And I'm also gonna add a circle element. So I was making another layout and cutting out circles and I saved this sort of ring that was left over of the pattern paper. And I was like, that would actually be kind of perfect for this layout um, to go with that, that circle piece. So this is, you know, the, the placement, you can see this is where I want everything to go. And then I'm gonna take a pencil and kind of sketch the, um, just lightly trace the outlines or the, the corners of where all these things go. So I can, I can tell, all right, I don't wanna do too much mixed media past these lines because it's not gonna show up. And really, I, I probably didn't need to do this. Um, it's just something that I thought might help me um, because I ended up doing a lot more mixed media than I, I guess, originally anticipated. I kind of just like went crazy and almost covered the whole page. Uh, this is Vicky Booten Foundation Paper, in case you are wondering. So it's a nice, solid, sturdy cardstock. And I've got these two Not Just For Boys Kit Club stamps. So one of them is just kind of like a, a funny, fun circle shape. And then I'm also gonna try to add in some words because that original sketch, the background of it to me reminded me of newsprint. So I, I originally was like, maybe I have a stamp that just has like a bunch of words or a bunch of letters or something where I can use and, and I can just kind of like place it down and make it look like, look like newsprint, but I didn't really. So then I went into my, my stamp stash and said, okay, what do I have that's just kind of like a random not something like a butterfly or um, a heart, but something that's just uh, a pattern. And that's when I found this circle thing. Um, so I'm spraying the circle stamp with carved pumpkin from Tim Holtz. And you can see some of it, like the first stamp kind of gets a little liquidy, but then as I keep stamping, it's not as liquidy. And you can still tell the, um, the that there's a, a circle pattern going on. It's almost kind of reminds me of like honeycomb almost. So I'm just kind of like rotating the stamp, trying to fit parts of it in wherever I can. And the reason I'm using Tim Holtz spray instead of uh, an ink pad is because I do have some ink pads, but I didn't really like the colors that were in the ink pads. They're very just normal primary type colors. And I like the, the different array of colors that I have in my Distress Oxide Spray collection. So I chose Carved Pumpkin, and then I'm also choosing a green, which I think is Rustic Wilderness. And I chose those colors because they were sort of the colors that were in the pattern paper, right? So the Rustic Wilderness, I'm gonna actually spray on this other stamp that says Fall. So that again is a Not Just For Boys Kit Club stamp set that I got through one of their kits. And I like the word Fall because it, it's big and it kind of goes in with what I'd been trying to do is create words in the background, right? To mimic that newsprint look. So I'm stamping the word Fall. And the, the big stamp works pretty well with the Distress Oxide Spray. I do kind of um, kind of stick it to the, uh, the paper towel there just to get some of the excess liquid off. And I'm just putting that word fall kind of wherever I can find some negative space. And some of those, some of it's gonna be covered up by the lines, but I do kind of like the, the look of um, appearing out from behind the pattern papers because I don't want it to look uh, I want it to look like there there might be some more of this pattern behind the pattern papers, but 
I know and you know from watching this process video that there's not. Um, and then I'm going to try a smaller word. And I think the smaller word says stories. It's a smaller stamp. And it doesn't really work very well with the Distress Oxide Spray. But it does kind of leave an interesting mark behind. So I kind of like that, um, making it look uh, just a very interesting sort of mixed media pattern or design that's going on back there, right? So I don't really mind that it kind of got messed up because I, I think it goes well with... Um, the whole mixed media thing. So I actually did let this dry for several hours because I really wanted to make sure it was nice and nice and, and clean and before I started putting other stuff down on top of it. And even then, after several hours, you'll see it in a second, I, I end up, I, I guess there's a part of the green that's a little too liquidy still, and um, I do end up kind of smudging it. But it's not a big deal because I'm, I'm going to cover it most of it up. Um, so, you know, whatever. So I'm just erasing some of the... Um, some of the markings for the pencil markings. And you can see that's where I, I smudged the green, you know, all right, whatever. I, I took a paper towel and kind of like tried to sop up some of that excess there. And that's something that you can do as well. I probably should have rolled a paper towel over this, but I think I was afraid that, um, I think I was afraid of too much like color bleeding. So that's why I didn't, but you know, whatever. So I'm going to be covering that up with that adventure three by four cut apart. And that's from a keep it simple collection that I got last year at the Stampin' Scrapbook Expo. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to the Stampin' Scrapbook Expo this year because it sort of uh, coincides with dates that we're going to be on vacation. And they used to do it. They used to do this expo on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And now this year, it's only two days. It's only a Friday and a Saturday. And I'm like, wait a second. You couldn't do a Saturday and a Sunday? Like some people, I know people could take off of work for Friday, whatever. But like that's a, that's a work day. That was like a bonus day for coming in, like doing the crops and stuff like that. So I don't know. I'm kind of ticked. Um, but if I miss it, I miss it. And my wallet will probably thank me. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm adding in a bunch of different embellishments from Echo Park. I've got some of their ephemera pieces and chipboard pieces. I also have some stickers. I don't, I think photo play maybe? That turkey sticker is definitely photo play and I've had that for a while in my stash. And I chose this turkey sticker because this is a turkey trek walk that we did around the Girl Scout uh, Lake. So I thought the turkey would be perfect. And then a couple, um, the, the journaling spot is also from the Keep It Simple collection. I will do the journaling off camera. Um, I'm adding in a couple simple story stickers that sort of reminded me of fall. They're not, it wasn't a particularly fall collection. I think it was actually more of like a food and family themed collection, but some of the colors were fallish and I, some of the sentiments I thought went well with, with fall photos. So I'm literally just like going crazy here, adding in, adding in the embellishments. Like I am layering, layering and clustering like nobody's business for this one. Cause I'm, I'm really trying to use stuff from my stash. I've got that American crafts thicker title that says friend. So obviously that's going to be, that's like the, the big piece of the title. You could say it's called adventure friend or I don't know, I don't know whatever. Um, I know there are a lot of words on this layout, but like I said, I'm really just trying to like bash my stash here, right? So basically adding in all of these embellishments is kind of the last piece of the puzzle here um, because I've already done all the mixed media. I've already got the photo and uh, the pattern papers down. I'm just adding stuff. I'm just adding, adding, adding. Um, I hope that you guys uh, share your take on this sketch with us. You can use the hashtag M-I-U-M hop if you're sharing it on social media or even here on YouTube, wherever you want to share your photos. Um, or just, you know, let me know in the comments down below where I can find your take on this. We'd love to see how you incorporate mixed media into this layout. And if you want to know more about Peacecraft Love, follow the link below. You can join the Facebook group and you can join this next. You can join the next month's Mix It Up Monday Hop if you would like to. It's open to everybody who's a part of the group. So we would love it if you guys participated um, or just join the group and share your work within the group. That's, that's cool too. So I hope that this was inspiring for you and that if you have any questions about anything, the challenge, the products I'm using, I'll leave those down below in the comments. The close-up photos are right here so you can see things in a little bit more detail. And like I said, I hope this was inspiring for you and that you're inspired by everybody else who's participating in today's hop. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow for my regular Tuesday process video. Bye.